I'm really excited about the group buy we're going to do right now to help every family be able to get a homemade ceramic water filter that will do bulk water filtering, bulk water purifying without having to do a little hand pump that's very laborious and slow. Um, the idea of ceramic water filtering is something that started with things like this. This is a stainless steel pot on top of a stainless steel pot that has two and sometimes four ceramic cylinders inside that have activated charcoal cores. You put the dirty water in the top, set it on, let me show you this, set it on the bottom pot. The water works its way through the ceramic, through the tiny little pores, then through the activated charcoal, and comes down into the bottom pot where you then get it out with a spigot. These are wonderful and amazing, but they cost between $200 and $400 usually. So we're not going to do that, but we're going to do the homemade version of this, and we're going to make it out of some buckets. You have to get your own buckets. We're not going to put that on this buy, um, but you can do these four and a fourth gallon buckets. See in there is the, there's the ceramic filter with an activated charcoal core down in there. Attach this lid and then drops down into the bottom bucket and has a spigot. Same idea. Much cheaper. Much, much cheaper. So you need to decide what size bucket you want. You might have them out in the garage. Um, just get two of the same size and two lids. These are four and a fourth gallons. These are three gallon used ice cream buckets from the BYU Creamery. They're only 50 cents each, including the lid. And these are two five gallon buckets, two six gallon buckets. Now, the places to get them are the cheapest place, if you don't mind driving to Salt Lake, is Industrial Container. They have real pack buckets and these wonderful what are called tear tab lids. Don't tear the strip off. Here, here's what they look like with the strip torn off. We don't want to tear them off because we want to be able to set the bucket down and have that added height so that it doesn't affect and break off the stem. So that's a wonderful feature. And these are the buckets that they have at Macy's and I think a lot of places they're Kirk buckets. And they have their own tear tab lid. Same idea, don't tear the strip off. Works perfect. Um, only industrial container and emergency essentials offer the different sizes. Most of the other grocery store type places only have the five gallon buckets. So, but they're at, they're good prices. Macy's is the cheapest right now, except for industrial container, which is in Salt Lake. It's about as far as driving to the airport. Okay, now, what this buy is going to include is not the two buckets and the two lids. You're going to get those yourself. Um, but it's going to have this pre-filter bag, 32 inches by 11, roughly. It's a one micron bag, and you would pre-filter your dirty water through this to protect the life of your filter. You could hang this in a tree or set this down on the ground, however you want. Do it in another bucket. Pre-filter your water. It has a thing that you can hang it with. And a one micron size means it will get out most protozoa and lots of the bacteria, um, which will save the life of your filter. Then you will also get one of these ceramic filters with an activated charcoal core, two gaskets and the wing nut, and we'll give you three of these O-rings. And I will show you how to assemble this in a few minutes. And then this pre-filter bag that you put over the top and you get it all the way to the bottom and then secure it with a rubber band. And that also helps protect the life of your filter. And this is a 7 to an 8 micron bag, just more protection. And you'll also get the spigot and the nut and washer that you need for that. Okay, now, let's talk about how these work. The ceramic is 0.2 microns. That will get out all protozoa and all bacteria. 
And when it comes to viruses, viruses are rarely waterborne. If they ever are, which is extremely rare, especially here, it might be more common if you lived in the jungle in Africa, but here, if they're in the water, in order to survive, they have to attach to something, like bacteria, which are bigger. So that gets out all the bacteria and takes any viruses with it. But there really weren't viruses in the first place. So that's getting out stuff. That's the ceramic. Then the charcoal on the inside does adsorption. That is able to attach to chemicals, heavy metals, herbicides, pesticides, chlorine, stuff like that, and does a wonderful job. And it is a man-made, activated coconut carbon, which has no shelf life. So just sitting there, it has no shelf life. It finally reaches an ad adsorption limit. Once you start using this, if you were using it every day, all the time, it would go about eight months. If you were just a small family using it a little bit, it could go much longer. It will do about 5,000 gallons before the activated charcoal has absorbed everything it can. That doesn't mean that the ceramic is done, though. You can clean the ceramic when it stops letting anything through. It's gotten clogged. You just kind of lightly sand it off, not with sandpaper, with a soft brush or soft cloth, and very carefully. You want to protect that because this is quite thin. Um, I don't know exactly how thin, maybe a fourth of an inch or three-eighths of an inch, something like that. And that will keep working. That will continue to get out uh, bacteria and protozoa until you have worn it too thin. And if you're very careful with this, this can last one heck of a long time. So, now, let me show you how to assemble these, what you need. I didn't put the extra washer because I wanted to show you. You'd actually have a washer there and then the wing nut. And in between, you would put two O-rings to just try to take up a little of the pressure so that you don't crack the bottom of the bucket and the lid, tightening this too much. Don't tighten it too much. And then you would have the other um, washer on the inside. Okay, you have to drill three holes to do this half an inch hole in the top bottom of the top bucket, a half an inch hole in the lid that goes here so that you can put that through, and we want to attach these together so that just like this, it is a barrier for keeping any water from getting down in. And that's why I put that duct tape there is so that no water can get through that little crack. And if you're using this kind of tear tab lid that comes from the grocery stores, I would put a piece of duct tape all the way around that to keep any water from getting through those little holes. And I would never be snapping these lids on. We just want to set them on like that. If you snap it on, it becomes a nightmare to get it off. And then, you, in fact, you have to tear off that strip in order to get it off. And that is not what we want. So you're just setting them on. Okay. So these are half-inch holes. This is a three-quarter inch hole. Now, how are you going to drill those? This is what you need. Just a regular drill. Go to the garage, go to the neighbors, go to your uncles, whatever. And either a nail or an ice pick. This worked great. And then, what are these called? Can't see. Stubby spade bit set. Harbor Freight for $3.99. Now, everybody doesn't need to go get one of these. Send one person from your whole entire neighborhood or Utah County or something. And $3.99 to get this set. I needed two of the three sizes. It had a one inch that I didn't need, and a half inch, and a three quarter inch. So you get it in there, and you do a little pre-hole wherever you want it. If I were going to put my spigot right here, I'd be measuring and make sure, making sure that I'm not putting it too low and running the bottom of the spigot off the edge. Um, I'd measure that, and then I would make a hole all the way through, all the way up to the hill, so that it gives you a little guide for that point. And when you do the lid, there's a little plastic bump there, and you can't go through that side. That's in the way. So on this side. 
you put your ice pick or nail all the way through. Now it's obliterated that and you can set this right on and just do with your half inch like that. So these kind of filters will do between 14 and 20 gallons a day. 20, in order to do 20 gallons, you have to be keeping this full all the time and having that pressure on it, and that would be quite a bit of work. The less water you keep in the top bucket, the slower this goes. So, but 14 gallons a day is more than you need, and that would make it possible for us to share and have everybody have enough water, and that's what we need. So have your water storage on hand, 25 gallons per person, and get a good water filter. And then this kind of filter is not a bad idea. This filter is the Seychelles. And the distribution center sells these. In fact, this is the kind that the LDS Church gives to missionaries in scary parts of the world. My daughter has one of these in the Philippines right now. And this is a wonderful filter that just makes it something portable to carry with you. This is the primo model in the world of, for what this will do. And one filter will filter up to about 200 gallons. And you can get it so that it comes with an extra filter. So that makes 400 gallons. That's over a year's water for one person. Um, and that's something that you can just easily carry with you anywhere you go. And this will do flood water. So will this. So get yourself everything you need so that your family has all the clean water they could ever need.